Good morning everybody and welcome to today's phase five phonics video. Today we're carrying on looking at um, alternative pronunciations. So again our learning objective is to recognize and use alternative pronunciations. So yesterday we looked at the letter I and how in some words it makes the it sound but then in other words it has an alternative pronunciation and we say I instead. So today we're going to look at O. So we know that this letter makes the O uh sound. So if we look at the word hot, 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 it makes the O uh sound. But if we look at the word cold, 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 it doesn't make sense. We pronounce this as the O uh sound. So cold, cold. So the O uh makes either the O uh sound or the O sound. So we're going to have a look at some words with the O uh pronunciation and the O uh pronunciation in them. So I've done a capital letter here to um, indicate that it makes the sound that we would say if we were saying the alphabet. So if we went through the alphabet, L, M, N, O. So that's why I've done it as a capital here, just as a little bit of a visual to try and remind you. So like we did yesterday, we're going to have a go at segmenting and blending. First with the O sound and then with the O sound. And then we're going to decide which um, pronunciation each of these words uses. So let's start off with this word first of all. So we're going to start with the O pronunciation. So G, O, T, GOT or G, O, T. Goat. Now, whilst goat is a word, this isn't how we would spell the word goat. So this has the o uh pronunciation. G -o -t got. Then if we move across, <clears throat> again, let's start off with the o uh pronunciation. N -o -no or n -o -no. OK, so this one would have the o uh pronunciation. Again, let's move on to the next word. G -o -d, gold or g -o -d, gold. So again, this one would have the O pronunciation. B -o -f, boff, or b -o -f, both. OK, so again, this one would have the O pronunciation. G dog, d o g dog. So that would have the o uh pronunciation. Moving across to the next word. Now it's got a capital letter because it's a name. M o g mog, or m o g mog. Again, that would have the o uh pronunciation. And then moving on to the bottom line, o d old, or O old hold. So that would have the O pronunciation. And then last word, p -op pop or p -o -p pope. Whilst pope is a word, again, that wouldn't be how we would actually spell the word pope. That's the split digraph O E. So there would be an E at the end of that word. So that would be the O uh, pronunciation. So p -op pop. So now it's your turn. Like yesterday, what I want you to do is to make two lists of words for me. Go through each of these words, popping in the different pronunciations, so the O uh or the O uh pronunciations. Decide which pronunciation um, each word has, so what the O uh makes in that word, and then write them down into two columns. So, for example, if we did the first one, O, uh, N, mm, on or own, own, yes, own is a word, but again, that's not how we would spell it. So the first word would be on, on. it would have the o uh pronunciation. So you would write that down in the o uh column. Do the same um, with the rest of the words. Um, pause the video whilst you're doing it so that you can look at the words and say the words as you're writing, down, uh, writing them down. Once you've done that, stop the video, move on to the um, slides, check that you've sorted the words into the correct pronunciations, and then again, move on to the final slides and visit Phonics Play 
and have a go at Cheeky Chimp selecting the ot sound and again looking at the alternative pronunciations of the ot sound and then also select speed trials which will allow you to practice the sounds. Um, again well done for today and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.